Mr Hannan. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Serbs will never be able to complain, as my constituents in the United Kingdom do, that the implications for national sovereignty were not clear when the European Union offered them membership. And I say implications for national sovereignty in the fullest sense. When Ratko Mladic was arrested and handed over, uh, President Sarkozy made a statement on behalf of the European Union saying that Serbia had thereby proved its fitness to join. Now, if you, of course, stop and think about it, the opposite really should be true. The, uh, a country would have proved its democratic uh, and liberal fitness when such a man could get justice in Belgrade or could be fairly extradited uh, to Bosnia. But, of course, what we're doing is we're stepping in and saying we don't allow you even your internal domestic legal system, something that hasn't happened in Serbia since the Austro-Hungarian ultimatum of 1914. That was, of course, the point that was rejected. We have uh, to be fair in how we apply the rules to all of the applicant states. If Serbs vote in favour of joining, I'll, of course, support them, but they should be in no doubt as to what the implications for their democracy are.